In this example, we are asked to compare f of 3 to g of 3 for these two functions. I'm going to start with the f of x function and evaluate it at 3. So I'm going to take this function, but remove the variable so that I can substitute the value of 3. So 3 squared is 9, and 9 minus 4 is 5. So f of 3 equals 5. Now I can evaluate the g of x function at 3. So I can copy this function, but remove the variable so that I can substitute the value of 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, minus 4 will give us 2. So g of 3 equals 2. Both of these are positive numbers, and I hope you know that 5 is definitely going to be greater than 2. It's just a little bit bigger. If you have $5, that's definitely more than $2. So f of 3 is going to be greater than g of 3. 